Hydrogen is the ultimate clean energy source. Hydrogen can be made from water, renewable biomethane from agriculture, and even from plastic waste. From creation to consumption, the entire hydrogen fuel cycle can be free of all polluting emissions. Hydrogen is also an ideal way to store energy for long periods of time, either as a gas or a liquid. Lithium-ion batteries are bulky, have a short lifespan, and are a pain to recycle. Plus, a global renewable energy grid using batteries would require more lithium and cobalt than is available on Earth. Japan is at the forefront of hydrogen research in the transportation sector, industrial processes, and to generate electricity on the grid. In March of 2020, Japan opened the world's largest green hydrogen production facility to date, the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field, also known as FH2R. Located in the region most greatly affected by the 2011 earthquake and the tsunami, 10 years later, Namiya Town is reviving as a global hub of renewable energy. And during the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games, hydrogen energy from FH2R will be powering fuel cell vehicles, lighting and air conditioning in the Olympic Village, and for the first time ever, fuel the Olympic flame. Japan aims to build a zero emission system that can be utilized throughout the world and has been collaborating on several groundbreaking projects throughout Southern California. So we're deploying green hydrogen here in LA and collaborating with cities worldwide, including in Japan. And at the Port of Los Angeles, where more goods enter the United States than anywhere else, we're on the road to zero emissions by 2035. In an effort to become the world's first decarbonized port, the Port of Los Angeles is hosting a demonstration of heavy-duty trucks powered by hydrogen fuel cells. So a lot of effort going on right now at the Port of Los Angeles, just given their very strong, keen interest in decarbonizing and getting zero emissions, especially for those trayage trucks that move the containers every single day. Of course, the key performance metrics for a lot of these truckers is the cargo capacity, the range, and the fueling time. And between those three things, fuel cells excel given the nature of the technology and the modularity that it presents. Toyota Tsusho America is now carrying out a feasibility study for on-site renewable hydrogen production and fuel cell electrification of heavy-duty port equipment. This hydrogen value chain study will run through March 2022. Our goal is to use 100% renewable hydrogen in the port area. Another groundbreaking project is the creation of the world's largest hydrogen-powered station, powered by Mitsubishi Power America's hydrogen turbines. The Intermountain Power Agency's IPP Renewed Project is the world's first power facility specifically designed to transition from a coal-fired power plant to natural gas to 100% green hydrogen by 2045. Another area of collaboration is hydrogen fueling stations that will provide clean energy fuel to California drivers. A hydrogen fuel cell can replace their gasoline car. And first element fuel is the largest network of hydrogen fueling stations in the world. This collaboration will increase the number of clean hydrogen fueling stations in California. Meanwhile, Low C is a project that will develop an anaerobic digestion plant at the Lancaster landfill. Cities and companies are required to divert organic waste from landfills to reduce methane emissions. So we use a process called anaerobic digestion that converts organic waste from use in green electricity, renewable natural gas, and hydrogen. California is clearly leading the effort to decarbonize the United States. And with Japan's collaboration and hydrogen, we will create a clean energy future.